Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Zanata Consulting Tutorials. This is a little more of a product information piece that we're going to give you today. We're going to talk about Zoho bundles. This is a question we get asked a lot. Which Zoho bundle of products is right for you? And it's kind of hard to find. If you actually go to the Zoho main website and you go ahead and click on their products page, it'll kind of take you through a list of their products. And you kind of just have to scroll down and through. So if you hover over sales, you'll see they have this CRM Plus bundle. And if you're over marketing, you'll see down here they've got the Marketing Plus bundle. You know, customer support, no bundle. Finance, you've got the Finance Plus bundle. HR, you've got People Plus, on and on and on. So, um, and this, these are the apps that are in it. You can kind of actually, all these apps aren't necessarily in People Plus, so you've kind of got to go through them. Uh, we've made it a little easier for you to find the bundles. Strangely enough, the one bundle they don't talk about on here is their Zoho One bundle, which is a lot of their apps. So, and if you do a search for Zoho bundles, Zoho bundle pricing, uh, you'll notice at the very top, we come up um, over here at Zanata because we've actually taken the time to kind of help you with all of the various bundles that Zoho has. So if you actually go over to Zanata.com and you click, hover over resources, you'll see we've got apps and bundles. If you're not familiar with this, if you go to the apps page, um, we actually rate all of the Zoho apps, whether uh, what we think about them. Yes, they're a great app, maybe, a lot of cases, these are these are good enough for companies, but sometimes they lack some key features. And then no, uh, just for various other reasons. And if you click through each one of the app, we'll tell you what our what the pros and cons are and whether or not you should use it or not. Um, but for purposes of this video, we're going to talk pretty much just about Zoho bundles. And if you click here on the bundles, well, we kind of break them all down for you right here. So you've got seven different bundles. And uh, let's start with the granddaddy of them all. Uh, this is Zoho One. So Zoho One comes with 40 plus applications and it's got, it's the only one that bundle that Zoho has that has a slightly different pricing model for it. Uh, they've got all employee pricing and flexible user pricing. So what this means is if all of your employees sign up, so you've got 100 people in your organization, and you sign all of them up, then it's going to be $45 per user per month uh, for each one of those. Um, but if you wanted to pick and choose, you've got a 100 user company, you only maybe want to have 10 or 15 people, then it's going to be $105 per user per month. Um, the break point on here is 42%. So if you had 100 people, once you added that 42nd person on your flexible user pricing, you might as well put the whole company in on all employee pricing because at that point in time, it just makes sense. Um, and for that price, you basically get all of the applications. You pretty much need to run a business. They include all of the key ones in here, CRM, desk, analytics, books, backstage, inventory. Uh, basically, they're all here. So whole projects, sprints, work drive, the entire office suite, everything that you need is here. As a matter of fact, Every application that we're gonna that's in here, it exists in one of these other bundles as well. So as you look at the other bundles, you'll you'll kind of see what those look like. So and this is where it gets a bit confusing, and it's all around this flexible user pricing here. Because as we go down to the next main bundle, which is their sales bundle, which is CRM Plus, you'll see that it is sixty nine dollars per month, and it comes with these applications. What's the difference? You say. Well, let's say you were a company with a hundred users, and you. Uh, just we're going to have 10 people using the application, but all you really needed were sales apps. Well, you might want to go then with the CRM Plus bundle at $69 per month per user. It cost you $690 rather than $1,000. $50 if you were on the $105 per month plan. Um, anyway, gives you an idea of what you're, uh, what you're going to, what you can do here. So kind of looking through the entire product, uh, going through it, this is, these are the base apps and they're all for sales. Maybe you could add a couple other applications on that would then give you, uh, you know, maybe bring you up where you're at, but still save you money over this bundle right here, which I'm sorry, be ten thousand five hundred dollars a month if you had a if you had it. So ten thousand five hundred a month, uh, as opposed to well, I'm just going to put ten people on here at uh, six hundred ninety dollars. So you get the idea. Um, anyway, 
then moving on to Creator Plus, uh, this is $45 per month on an annual billing, and this is just for developers. Again, all of these applications exist in the Zoho One bundle as well. Uh, and then moving down to Finance Plus, it's $199 per org, includes 10 users, or you can have that monthly. And this just includes the Finance Suite. So oftentimes, people just want Zoho for books and inventory. They've got another CRM that they're plugging into it, and this is just what they're looking for. So again, a lot of savings here. If you're just looking for finance, you can actually spin finance up at your company for an extremely low rate. Um, and most of these applications will be well suited for your business. Moving on down on the bundles is People Plus. People Plus includes everything you kind of need to basically manage an organization and communicate. So it's Click. If you're not familiar with that, that's Zoho Slack. Um, clone, if you will, or, or product that looks like Slack and acts like Slack, communications, connect, which is an intranet, Zoho expense for expense reporting, payroll, people, which is your HR management system, recruit, which is your applicant tracking system, and then Zoho vault for all of the passwords. Again, just a little bundle to kind of tie things together for people who maybe just want to have some people management, some HR management, and this is only $10 per user per month. Uh, and then you have remotely, this was rolled out uh, during COVID, and this is for remote workforces. Um, and you've got both a standard and professional edition. You can see the pricings up above. And again, this all the communication tools, all the office tools you would need, um, and then to kind of take it to the next level. They also have these tools. Zoho Assist allows you to do remotely log into an uh, PC and provide support that way. Uh, Lens kind of takes that to another level, lets you do kind of video uh, support and those kind of things. And then Zoho Sprints is their uh, project management tool, agile project management. Uh, if you're familiar with Jira, it's very similar to Jira. Uh, and then we move into Workplace, which is their last bundle. And this is just generally their office suite. So if you're familiar with Office 365, which includes OneDrive or uh, Google um, Office Suite, which includes Google Drive, and then of course all of the various spreadsheet, presentation, uh, document tools, email, all of those things, they roll up into their workplace bundle. And you get a whole lot here for $7 per user per month for the professional edition. Uh, well worth looking at. So that's a brief look at the Zoho bundles. Um, very kind of, this is a, hopefully you find this guide real easy. Again, you just want to go to Zanata.com and go ahead and click on that resources and click on bundles and that'll break them all down for you. Makes it a little easier if you're going through this process because if, even if you were to look at some of these, you kind of go into People Plus, it's hard to see what applications are here and what they do. You kind of got to dig around. So we've done that hard work for you. Um, at the end of the day, if you're going all in with Zoho, uh, if, even if you're looking at some of these bundles, we find in most cases Zoho One or CRM Plus are going to be the ones that uh, a lot of people want. But uh, you really got to take a look at the overall pricing and figure out which bundle is correct for you. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Or if you head over to Zanata.com and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can sign up for our newsletter. And we tell you everything that's going on in the world of Zoho on a weekly basis. So every Monday at 6 a.m., you'll get that newsletter from us. Thanks so much for listening. Talk to you soon.